Hi guys, uh, I received a message from Nosage118 uh, saying about dual booting Windows and Linux. He wants to dual boot Windows and Linux on the same disk, on the same PC I assume, and he's worried about it messing up his Windows. I made a video previously on something called Wooby which makes it really easy. Unfortunately it didn't work for me in my virtual machine so I couldn't show you Ubuntu starting up. Now I refuse to be beaten so I'm going to do the manual method of installing it and I'm going to show Nosage again how to do it. And of course, don't forget to back up all your data before you do this. Now here is the uh, Windows XP clean install I have. And I've downloaded the Ubuntu uh, image and I'm about to, I've put it already into this um, uh, virtual disk. But what you'll want to do is burn this onto a CD and get ready to restart your computer. So I'm now going to reset this computer and I'm going to boot from the CD. CD on drive. Um, actually no, I'm not sorry about that I'm just going to turn this off because what I need to do is add a drive to the um, to the piece, to the virtual PC because I can't partition what we need to do is partition it and I can't actually do this in um, the virtual machine this may have been why my other one screwed up a little bit so I'm making a new disk and I'm calling it Ubuntu so what I'm actually going to do is install it on a separate disk um, so it doesn't resize the first one but what it will do on your computer is resize your hard disk and then put it on the end so um, I'll show you how to do it anyway but it didn't work for me um, when I just tried it so oops oh no <laughs> uh, not very quick on the old um, escape button there gotta try again here we go okay, so we're starting or installing Ubuntu so hopefully this will start up because um, yeah, you uh, you can't actually resize partitions inside virtual machines because they use special disks. So I've got no choice but to put it onto another disk to show you it working. Um, and what partitioning is is basically splitting up a disk um, or resizing a section of a disk or the whole disk in order to leave some free space to use elsewhere. And it will show up as an as a extra disk. So if, all we're trying to do is um, resize our whole Windows disk and uh, make it a lot smaller and then we're going to put Linux on the end and treat that as a separate disk. Um, Windows however won't view Linux as a separate disk because it uses a completely different partition table or um, it uses EX2 and EX3 or something. So uh, the Windows partition you have won't view any files that are on Linux but Linux can do Windows I think. Excuse me. So, I will not be beaten, I want this to work, I want to be able to show you Linux in a dual boot. So, there's no need to download any partition managers or anything because Ubuntu actually lets you do it through its install. So, and uh, there's an error starting in the GNOME settings, oh well. Uh, some things such as themes, sounds or background settings may not work correctly. Oh dear, full of errors today aren't we? Right, so we're going to go to install, double click. Screen recorder seems to follow me, which is good. Have you double clicked? Here we go. Install. So, ready to install English. Go. Oh, whoops. It didn't follow me. I didn't click. That's why. <laughs> so, I've gone forwards. And it uh, doesn't matter about this time. And the language, we don't have to worry about either. I'm just showing you the partitioner, so it should start up now. There we go. Setting up the partitioner. Okay, so eventually it will show guided. Eventually, there we go. Guided resize SCSI two, which is my um, my main drive, and it says and use the freed space. So it says new partition size, and we've got a slider here, and it says it's going to leave seventy six percent of your drive, assuming that you've formatted and checked it for errors. Uh, not formatted, sorry, defragged it and checked it for errors. And then we're going to use the free space, this this side of it, to put Linux on. So we're going to, I'm going to actually choose guided, use entire disk, and then use SCSI 010 because um, I can't partition it because it will come with an error. But you'll want to go guided and then choose 76% or whichever because uh, it says SCSI is going to resize, uh, it was going to resize the main one, and it says that my drive is 8.6 gigabytes so make sure you see the amount of drive you have amount of space you have on your drive and then consider how much space you want to keep 
Um, so you might want to drag this a little bit further to keep more space in your drive. But anyway, I'm going to now go forwards and it should set up and now format my disk so it will work hopefully computing the new partitions so what it will do with yours it will um, resize your partition for, um, format the free space and then install itself onto the um, free space um, if I show you it on mine it wouldn't do it we don't want to migrate anything so we're just going to go forwards because it just imports it I think from another uh, Linux thing so I'm going to call myself Duncan oops um, call, yeah, call myself Dunk that's fine uh, choose password A, password of A. Make sure I remember A is the password. And I'm ready to install. So it's now going to install. It sets up the partitioner. Um, I think yours will resize the disk with that guided thing straight away. But this is just going to install everything now. So um, here we go. It's formatting my partition, uh, which is the entire disk, second disk, and it's put an ext3 file systems, which is why it won't get read by um, Windows XP. I'm just going to move this across to see the time I've used. And it will now install. So once it's done, I will show you the grub, uh, which is the bootloader, once it's installed everything. And I'll boot into XP and then show you Ubuntu. And hopefully it will work this time. So I'll see you in a bit. Hi guys, we're at 95%, so I thought I'd um, start the video again. Let's just installed the uh, grub bootloader. I'm hoping this doesn't take too long. Um, it's installed everything a lot faster than um, Wooby did. Wooby took ages, took like half an hour. This has taken about 10 minutes. So, are we going to get anywhere? Right, 96%, 97%. So, we're still inside um, Ubuntu. Um, I'll just basically restart and then show you it running uh, Windows XP first, and then we'll boot into Ubuntu. And hopefully, I won't get an error this time. I'll be very pleased if it works. Uh, we're going to restart now and we'll see if the grub has been put into the bootloader, meaning we can switch switch between oh here we go, oh, shutting down, meaning we can switch between uh, Windows and Linux. Please remove the disk, close the tray off any and press enter. Well we don't need to do that because it doesn't default to the disk. So here we go and we have it, and it says other operating systems, XP professional. So we can click that, start it normally because I turned it off uh, prematurely while we were installing Ubuntu. And hopefully we can see it booting XP. So as you can see it's booted XP fine. Um, I've had to install it on a separate disk like I've said. Uh, you'll be able to do this on your just one disk and resizing it, making it a little bit smaller so you can fit Linux on the end. It will do exactly what happened um, previously. Um, other than it will, um, it will just show a little bit smaller in Windows, and um, it will just install it on the end. And then it's on the end, right? So you can see that uh, Windows is working. So I'm just going to do another premature reset, and I'm going to try and boot Ubuntu. Now that's hoping that this works. Enter. Right, click enter. Please work. Please work. <laughs> so we're now starting up, loading, and straight away it's actually gone into my proper. Um, resolution, well, or close to my resolution, and it did this before and then stopped. Oh, it's gone a little bit further this time. It got to about there when I tried the Wooby install and it stopped. So, this is the manual install to do it, and it looks like it's going to work for me, which is brilliant. Are we going to get any further? And. See, it's fairly easy to do even if you just use the um, normal Ubuntu thing. Um, just the normal Ubuntu disk. All you need to do is boot, um, burn the disk and put it onto a, into a, into the drive. Restart your computer and you can do it through there. Uh, Wooby was just a way, an another way to do it. So my username was Dunk, wasn't it? My password was A. There we go. Yay! It's actually booted. Brilliant. And we have a fully installed Linux on a machine and I haven't been beaten by errors or anything, it's all worked fine and I'm a very happy man. <laughs> so if you want to do it um, manually then just follow what I've just shown you, um, use the Ubuntu disk, um, I've chosen the, chosen the Ubuntu desktop, uh, Wooby did the alternate version I think so that might have been why it didn't work as well. But anyway, this is installing Linux manually, thanks for watching my video, please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again.